Welcome back to Core Android and today we are going to see how to enable and disable Wi-Fi uh, programmatically using Kotlin language. So as you can see I have created one project known as Wi-Fi demo and we will be creating two buttons to enable and disable the Wi-Fi. So we will just drag and drop these buttons and name them as enable and disable Okay, so as you can see we have created two buttons one in enable and the other one is disable Now we have to bind these uh, buttons into the Kotlin file. So Android have provided a latest way to bind those IDs into the Kotlin file and It has reduced a lot of code so I'll show you what to do to bind uh, those IDs into your Kotlin file. It's a very simple method which have uh, provided by Android. So first you have to go to an build.gradle file and in the uh, sorry uh, app level build.gradle file and into the Android object we have to just add this view binding true. Let's go to Kotlin main activity dot uh, Kotlin file and we will implement a binding process here So as you can see this line, this line is basically used to inflate the layout and this is what we have got here, binding object. So instead of binding uh, the main, we will just bind this object dot root and sorry and the binding process is done. All the IDs will be available into this binding object only. So let's see if we get our two buttons or not so binding dot yeah these two buttons are already available here so this is the simplest way to do, uh, do it uh, we have created those two buttons into the xml file and we have just added two lines here only one line and imported the uh, activity binding the class and we are done so we have got our buttons now we will set a listener on these buttons so here we are going to use a basic simple method just set on click listener which is also updated by android so we'll just have to do this only or if you want you can use the lambda as well so you will get the object of the view so now we have to call those two functions which we will be going to create for enabling and disabling the Wi-Fi so first on the first button click sorry yeah on the first button click which is the enable Wi-Fi we'll call an enable Wi-Fi function enable Wi-Fi okay sorry now we have to define a function here and same for disable Wi-Fi we will create one function known as disable Wi-Fi function okay
okay so i'll explain you what i have done here so first of all i have taken a wi-fi manager object here and i have this uh, line to initialize the wi-fi manager object so we have an object of wi-fi manager and we have those two functions enable and disable wi-fi so we just have to do is wi-fi manager dot is wi-fi enabled true and wi-fi enable equal to false that's all we have to do we'll do we will show a toast message here also to just see if uh, all these things are executing properly on the window so we'll just give a text as wi-fi enabled and length dot length long dot show okay and same here we will just change this text as wi-fi disabled okay i'll explain you what why it is uh, showing as deprecated let's run the project and see if it is working or not so i am i'm running this project into the nexus 5x api 28 which is android 9 so as you can see, the application is opened so i will just click on enable wifi and see what happens as you can see the toast wifi enabled we'll just see into this yeah the wifi has been enabled now we will click on disable wifi so as you can see the toast wifi has been disabled we'll just go to the notification bar and see see wifi has been disabled we'll just try to enable it again wifi has been enabled as you can see the wifi has been enabled so guys this is api 28 so why am i explaining to you this point is in api 28 it works totally fine but after api 28 uh android has be has uh, removed this feature to enable and disable wifi from code code level so you won't be having this code working in android level 10 i'll show you a demo of this also i have one more emulator which is api 29 i'll just close this one and we will run the same project into pixel 2 api 29 the emulator is opening so in android 10 this won't work the res- the return result will always be false nothing will happen to the wifi in android 10 which is api 29 so as you can see the wifi uh, wifi demo project has been installed let's see is the wifi is enabled or not okay the wifi is disabled i will click on enable wifi and you will see in wifi has been enabled the functionality will work properly but wifi will not enable because it is api 29 and disable wifi it will also work properly but nothing will happen here so basically uh this functionality show you, is to show that if you have a application which is already available and you are targeting android level 28 so this you can use this otherwise you cannot use this functionality after 28 so thanks for watching guys Please subscribe to Code Android for more good videos.